I'm Brooke, and I love making things, which is why I love living here in the Makery, where we make things, bake things, and grow things. Whoa, your vegetables look incredible. Oh, thanks, Makery. I'm pretty pleased with them. Oh, where did my carrot go? I don't know. A mischievous little mole is taking my vegetables. Oh. Oh, that gives me a great idea in store. I hope it's an idea that will save my vegetables. To the store cupboard. Okay, let's see what the makery's great idea is. Okay, here we go. You're gonna need a paper bowl, foil, Ooh. Yeah, and some brown tissue paper. Interesting. I wonder what we're making. Let's take a look. What's it gonna be? <gasps> oh, it's a makery message mall. This is gonna be great. Now, where's my making desk? To make a message mole, we're gonna start with a piece of pink cardstock. And then I'm gonna draw two paw shapes. There, now I'm gonna carefully cut these out. You should ask an adult for help if you find this tricky. And we're gonna make our mole's head. For that, I'm using a big piece of foil. I'm gonna scrunch it into a ball. Now, moles have long, pointy noses, so I'm gonna squish this into a teardrop shape. Amazing. Now I'm gonna cover this in tissue paper and glue. Paint over the foil, and then cover it in black tissue paper. We're gonna keep going all over. Great, I think that's looking ready. Did you know moles actually live underground and when they come up to the surface, they leave mole hills. That's what we're gonna make now. Take a paper bowl and cover it in glue and brown tissue paper. Keep going until the whole ball is covered. There we are, that's looking amazing. Now I'm gonna stick some more glue on top. This is so we can add our mole's paws. One here, one there and then the head. I'm also gonna add some stickers for eyes. All done. I think I'll call him Monty. Monty the mole. All he needs now is a note that says, keep off my vegetable patch. I'm gonna put this sticky note here. I think he got the message. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 No mold. No mold. Oh. 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 I'm glad we made friends with the moles. You know, maybe we could spare some of the vegetables if they're hungry. Right, Makery? Sure we can. Oh, I know, you know, I'm a big fan of soup. Ooh, good idea. Let's look for a recipe in the cookbook. Vegetable soup. We could use some of the leftover vegetables. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we're gonna need a blender. What? What is that? I don't like the sound of that. What is that? It's coming from the empty room. Let's take a look. What a bizarre bunch of bleeps and bloops. 
What is making that sound? I think I know what it is. Follow me. Any bright ideas yet? It's a robot. A dancing robot. Check this out, guys. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh, a bowl. Okay, it's brown. Paper. Huh. Oh, what? Oh, look, they're birdies. They're bottle cap birds in a nest. Better get on with making the soup for the moles. What vegetables do we have left? Carrot, broccoli, cheese. Cheese? My cauliflower shouldn't smell like cheese. Tick tock, it's bake o'clock. Yes, time for the makery bakery. I love this time of day. There you go. Ooh, how could I forget? Aprons on. And of course, Makery, wash our hands. So what's on the Makery Bakery menu today then? It's Makery Cheesy Feet. Ew. <laughs> cheesy Feet. Why not? It's time to get ready, steady, and cook. Pastry dough, ham and milk, but no cheese. Makery, surely for cheesy feet we need cheese? Uh, of course we do. Let's check out the Makery Maker Tree. Brilliant idea. Thank you. Come on. <sighs> wow, thanks Makery. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save this for later. To make our cheesy feet, I'm gonna start with a foot shape cut from a piece of construction paper. Next, I'm taking the pastry dough. You can buy this from a grocery store. Roll it out like this. Then pop your construction paper foot on top. Then carefully cut around the foot shape with a knife. Make sure you ask an adult for help with this part because it can be tricky. Now I'm gonna peel the paper foot off and place it onto a baking tray. Now I'm gonna poke some holes in it with a fork and this will stop it from rising too much in the oven. Brush on some milk. This will make it really shiny and crunchy when it's cooked. I love crunchy. What's next, Makery? It's cheesy time! Ooh, I'm gonna use this block of cheese I got from the maker tree earlier, but it needs to be grated. Ah. I don't suppose you could lend a hand, could you, Makery? Oh, yes! Cheddar! There you go. Thanks, Makery. You should ask an adult for help with this. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese all over our foot. Now, our foot wouldn't be complete without toenails. For those, I'm using some ham. Tear it up into small pieces and put them on the cheesy foot like this. Now this is ready to go into the oven. You should ask an adult for help with this. Hmm, I wonder how long that'll take. Ooh, thanks, Makery, that was quick. Yours might take a little bit longer. This is smelling deliciously cheesy. <sighs> you don't have to make a ham and cheese foot. You could make a Red Leicester one with tomatoes or blue cheese and olives. Some people think cheesy feet are disgusting, but I think they're cheesy-licious.
Stink. Hey, Stink. Hey. Yum, Whiff. yummy. <laughs> Cheesy feet will be perfect with a mixed vegetable soup for the moles. Mm. But where is that recipe? Uh, I think it was on page 73. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Here it is. Mm -hmm. We need a carrot. Yeah. Thankfully, we have some of those left over. Yeah. Broccoli. Okay. Cauliflower. Yes. And a cabbage. <gasps> oh. Huh? I know we planted a cabbage, but it's missing. <gasps> the mole must have taken it. Well, what'll we do now? Oh, oh, I've got a great idea in store. Ooh, in that case, to the store cupboard. Okay, let's see what the maker is thinking. This time, you are going to need green construction paper, white construction paper, hmm. and some cotton balls. Interesting. I wonder what we're making. Let's take a look. This is the exciting bit. Okay, here we go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> oh, it's a makery cauliflower costume. I love it. To make our cauliflower costume, I'm gonna start with two pieces of construction paper. I'm gonna tape them together at one end. Now we're going to carefully cut a curve shape out of the top because that's where your head's going to go. This can be a bit tricky, so ask an adult for help. Great. Hmm. Wonder what's next? Uh, why don't you use the cotton balls for the top of the cauliflower? Good idea. Thank you. I'll use cotton balls and some glue. Oh. Once you've done that, leave it to dry. I've done the same on both sides. Next, I'm drawing a nice big leaf shape on green construction paper. There we are. I think we'll need a few more of these. I don't suppose you'd lend a hand, would you, Makery? Uh, yes, I love careful cutting. It's my favorite kind. Oh. Whoa, thanks, Makery. You're welcome. Now, to give these a real cauliflowery effect, I'm gonna crinkle the edge with my fingers like this. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna add these onto my costume with a glue stick. Add leaves to both sides of your costume. There we are, all done. I think it looks good enough to eat. I mean, wear. Special delivery for the crafty kids. Ah, here we go. Wow, they look fantastic. You don't have to make a cauliflower. You could also make a corn on the cob with yellow cotton balls. Or you could even try making broccoli with green paper plates. Delicious! Yay! I finally finished making my soup. Doesn't it look super? Hey, I thought that was meant to be for the moles to eat. Uh, yeah, I'll get them some later. Okay. I just need to make sure it's tasty from start to finish. I'll see you next time at the makery. Bye! Can I have some soup? 